Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability and test guy here with another fun-filled, action-packed video on reliability tests and validation topics. Today's video, I'm going to be debunking five common EV myths. You've probably heard it in the headlines or read it in essentially every EV post. These five reoccurring myths. So let's go ahead and jump into it. As someone who's spent a lot of time in the trenches of battery validation and safety testing, I'm here to tell you, most of what people fear about EVs is rooted in misinformation, outdated tech, or just plain misunderstanding. Let's break down the top five myths and why they don't hold up under real world scrutiny or engineering reality. Myth one, EV batteries catch fire easily. This one gets a lot of attention. Anytime there's an EV fire, it goes viral. But here's the real story. Yes, thermal runaway can happen, but statistically, EV battery fires are actually rarer than fires in gasoline-powered vehicles. In fact, the National Fire Protection Association reports that gas vehicles experience over 150,000 fires per year, mostly due to fuel leaks and electrical issues. EVs, far fewer, even when adjusted for the number of vehicles on the road. Why? Because EVs are engineered with layered safety systems. You've got thermal sensors, software-based protection, hardware fuses, vent paths, and fire-resistant enclosures, all designed to stop problems before they spread. And let me tell you, before these batteries ever see a highway, they've already gone through abuse testing most people wouldn't believe. Nail penetration tests, crush tests, overcharge simulations, thermal propagation trials. This isn't guesswork. It's rigorous, validated design. Still not convinced? Let's dig into some more real-world data to debunk this claim. This first graph shows us fires per miles driven. This chart looks at how many miles a vehicle travels on average before a fire is reported. According to the National Fire Protection Association and U.S. Department of Transportation data, ICE vehicles experience about one fire every 15 million miles. By contrast, Tesla, based on their internal safety reporting from 2012 to 2020, claims an average of one fire every 205 million miles driven. Now, even if we assume some margin of error or underreporting, the difference is still dramatic. We're talking about over 13 times fewer fires per mile for EVs in that data set. It's a reminder that EV battery fires, while often sensationalized in headlines, are statistically rare when compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. Now let's look at a second chart. Fires per 100,000 vehicle sales. This one breaks it down by fire incidents per 100,000 vehicles sold, a useful way to compare types of vehicles at the population level. Hybrid vehicles show the highest fire rate at around 3,474 fires per 100,000 sales. That's likely due to the combination of high voltage systems and traditional fuel systems. More components means more potential failure points. Internal combustion vehicles follow with about 1,530 fires per 100,000 sales. And battery electric vehicles come in significantly lower with just 25 fires per 100,000 sales. Again, this isn't a perfect apples to apples metric because EVs are generally more and the data sources vary, but the signal is consistent. Bottom line, battery fires can happen, but they're not common. And today's EVs are built with multiple safety redundancies to keep drivers safe. Myth two, EV batteries only last three to five years. This myth feels like it's stuck in 2008. People hear lithium ion and think about the phone battery that starts dying after two years. But EV packs are built on a completely different scale. Today's EV batteries are designed to last 10 to 15 years, often longer than the car itself. And the data backs that up. There are EVs out there right now with over 300,000 miles on the original pack, still holding 80% or more of their original capacity. Why? Because engineers have dialed in smart charging strategies, thermal management, and state of health diagnostics to keep these batteries healthy long term. Most automakers back that up with eight-year warranties, often guaranteeing 70% capacity or better. Bottom line, these aren't laptop batteries. They're engineered for long life and built to go the distance. Myth three, EVs are worse for the environment than gas cars. 
This one always gets people fired up, so let's zoom out and look at the full picture. Yes, battery production is energy intensive, that's true, but so is refining oil, transporting fuel, and maintaining combustion engines. The key is looking at the entire life cycle, from raw material extraction to end of life recycling. Multiple peer reviewed studies now show that EVs produce 60 to 70% less CO2 over their lifetime than internal combustion vehicles. And the break even point, often within one to two years of driving, depending on how clean your local energy grid is. And here's the kicker the cleaner the grid gets, the greener EVs become. Gas cars don't get cleaner as they age, EVs do. Bottom line, when you look at the full life cycle, EVs win, hands down. Myth four, cold weather kills EV batteries. Let's be clear, cold weather doesn't kill EV batteries. It just slows them down temporarily. Here's what's really happening. Lithium ion chemistry is temperature sensitive. In freezing temperatures, the battery's chemical reactions slow down. That means reduced range, slower charging, and more energy used to keep the cabin warm. But this isn't permanent damage, it's just physics. Modern EVs are built to pre-condition the battery before you even hit the road. Many will warm up the pack and cabin while still plugged in, so you start with maximum efficiency. Yes, in places like Minnesota or Canada, you might see 15-30% to 30 range loss in the winter, but plan around it and you're fine. It's no different than how gas mileage drops in cold weather when your engine runs rich or your tires lose pressure. Bottom line, cold weather in an EV with a well-engineered thermal management system may see some loss in performance but not in lifespan, and EVs are getting smarter every year at managing it. Myth 5. All EV batteries are basically the same. This one's like saying all engines are the same. EV battery packs are incredibly diverse, and they're designed with specific goals in mind. Range, cost, cycle life, charge speed, safety, or even packaging constraints. Some use NMC chemistry for high energy density. Others use LFP for durability and cost. Some prioritize fast charging, others thermal resilience. The architecture, cooling strategy, and even form factor, pouch, prismatic, cylindrical, it all varies based on use case. Real world example, a luxury EV might have a 400 mile range with liquid cooled NMC cells. Meanwhile, a budget commuter car might have a simpler LFP pack that lasts 2,000 plus cycles, but offers 150 miles of range. Bottom line, EV batteries aren't one size fits all. There's a world of engineering inside every pack, and each is purpose built for the job it's meant to do. So the next time someone tells you EVs are dangerous, short lived, dirty, unreliable in the cold, or all built the same, you'll know better. Because the truth is, EVs are one of the most rigorously engineered, safety tested, and rapidly advancing technologies on the road today. And when we cut through the noise, what we're really seeing is engineering done right, at scale. And that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you need help with your engineering development, test and validation programs and projects or if you're looking for training in vibration and shock, battery testing, DO160 and more, feel free to reach out on my website link listed in the description. Thanks again for watching. Have a blessed day. <music>